And welcome back to the Mozilla Festival. We're lucky to be here with Nate Matthias. He's going to talk to us about creating news and the revolution of uh, storytelling tools. So, Nate, what is it about today? What, what are you here today? So, I'm here at the Mozilla Festival as a research assistant at the MIT Center for Civic Media uh, to share some of the work we do to broaden who gets to speak in society and who actually gets heard in the news. So, uh, we're talking about citizen journalism and the new tools. Uh, what's out there for, their, uh, for them now? So, some of the things that we've worked on recently uh, try to take innovation in unexpected ways. People often think it's like the flashiest phone or the coolest holographic system, but Charlie Tatar's Between the Bars project is a postal blogging platform. 1% of, uh, of the American population is incarcerated, and those are people who often don't have internet access. And Between the Bars is a postal blogging platform. They send in letters, they get scanned and put online, and the comments get printed out and mailed back to them so they can have a conversation with their audience. Uh, other projects like Vojo.co uh, allow people with really simple phones to create content and share it online. Uh, you might have a feature phone, you might have a really simple uh, landline, and you can use Vojo to share your voice as well as upload video and MMS. And your session today will be exactly on uh, the newsroom uh, also revolution and how new new tools for journalists arrive. So what is it about exactly? So we've seen a lot of really interesting cases of the newsrooms quoting people from social media, you know, whether it's the Arab Spring, grabbing information from Twitter or Facebook. And we've gotten really good at understanding text messages and social media text content. Video is much harder. So I'm here at the Mozilla Festival to bring around the table a bunch of people who work to curate citizen video for the news to figure out what are new ways that we can use to find, to verify, translate, subtitle, and repackage citizen video for a broader audience in the news. And this weekend we are talking about new tools like Popcorn GS, uh, Popcorn Maker, uh, Ziga also are trying to, are going to develop their tools. Uh, are you going to work in, in uh, collaborative ways with them? Yeah, I've actually invited a lot of those people to the session, and we're going to start off by showing some of the really cool things that people are already doing, and then finding the gaps. We're going to be publishing a lot of stuff on the web around designs, needs, uh, lists of tools that are already out there, as well as best practices, so that people like me, who are software designers, can like use that as inspiration, and people who are media practitioners can use the tools that are already out there. And final question, we hear a lot about uh, tech being here, very helpful, but we're also missing uh, basic storytelling skills. Do you think the tech can replace this kind of training lacking in the media today? So that's where I'm really excited about some of the projects like Popcorn Templates, where you might not be someone who's created a news video before, but with some of these editor template systems, it's possible to guide uh, newcomers to like put together a story that will make sense to a wider audience. All right. Thank you so much, Nate, for talking to us. This was Mark for Vision on TV. Thank, Thank you for you watching. So much for